I'm Preeti Kumar, I'm the CEO of DQ Systems. My name is Wendy Chisholm and I'm a Principal Accessibility Architect at Microsoft. I've known Wendy for a very long time and we have been in the field of accessibility before Wendy was with Microsoft. So, you know, she's one of those do-gooders that we always admired at DQ. And so when she moved on to Microsoft, obviously we wanted to keep that relationship going and we were very fortunate that there were other people at Microsoft who at that time were beginning to look at training uh, the masses at Microsoft in accessibility. And they looked at all the material out there and they chose DQ University, which was a very wonderful uh, endorsement and uh, it gave me great satisfaction. Yeah, we needed, we needed internal training for our engineers. We had a renewed commitment to accessibility and um, especially with Satya becoming CEO, there was a lot of great changes going on culturally. So to help with that culture change, uh, we were investing in education as well as hiring and all the other things that we do related to accessibility. So it's great to bring in DQ and DQ University. And then, um, you know, our own tools we're getting going. Uh, we have a whole engineering system and we had been infusing that with accessibility and so uh, Axcore fit in beautifully with that. Um, it was really interesting. We had a, a bunch of different teams who had really looked at it separately and decided that that was a, a good way to move forward. And so when we had some funding coalesce around an internal team, you know, we just we started running with it. And so uh, and it was just great to have that relationship where we were checking in every other week. Uh, we were contributing uh, because we had so many teams using it internally and kind of raising flags about well, this may be a false positive. And I think we really put it through its paces. We did. <laughs> <laughs> and we are so grateful for that because that's what it's about. I mean, the, you know how they say open source software, it's about having a million eyeballs on them. Well, we got all million from Microsoft, it felt like at the time. <laughs> you know, it was like, wow, okay, that's great. Yeah, it wasn't a million, <laughs> but <laughs> it was a lot. It, it got used, it got a lot of use, yes. for sure. And a lot of scrutiny. We had a lot of people really saying, we, we want absolutely zero false positives. And so we really appreciated that perspective and that transparency from DQ and that commitment to zero false positives. That was really key for us. So the current collaboration between Microsoft and DQ is uh, extremely exciting to me. What we are doing is the following. We've got um, a very vibrant uh, community um, actively contributing to ACTS, which is for web rules. And um, when Microsoft approached us about this, we were thrilled because it meant expanding acts to multiple platforms. What Microsoft brought to us were some very key things. One was Acts for Windows. Acts for Windows extends accessibility to all the internal applications at most corporations or every corporation I think has Windows applications. And or before that, to assess a Windows application was very difficult. But now, with Axe for Windows, it's going to be a snap. And it's really fantastic. We are also collaborating around the, well, Microsoft brought the idea to us about open sourcing our native mobile rules. So they inspired us to go ahead and release the native mobile rules as open source. We decided to work with DQ because the partnership and the community they had already built was really important for us in elevating the entire industry. And as an organization that really values open source, making sure that anything we did could contribute to the community was key.